Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Lock-In Pub Quiz, episode 10. Uh, now, you are probably thinking they're surely not going to hit double figures over at the Lock-In Pub Quiz without some sort of themed special, and you'd be right to have thought that very specific thought, because today we have gone 80s. Uh, I'm wearing a denim shirt, uh, which we can all agree is a half arsed nod to the decade, but the entire <laughs> quiz will be centred around that most beloved, uh, fondly remembered, and fondly imitated of decades. Uh, we have also three fantastic guests whose work while spanning the decades, uh, does have some relevance to the 80s, although our first guest, I would argue, really hit the gunge-based big time in the 90s. That is, of course, Mr. Dave Benson Phillips. Hello, Dave. Hello there, Ivor. How are you doing, sir? You all right? I'm doing absolutely fine, thank you, although it's bloody hot in the denim, I can tell you. <laughs> now, Dave, yep. as the host of Get Your Own Back, brackets 1991 to 2004, what the hell do you think you're doing on an 80s-themed pub <laughs> quiz? Can you well, give actually, me any vignettes have, I, from your own 80s? Well, look, I, well, I grew up in the 80s. I was a 70s and 80s boy. And, of course, I do a lot of work with the Let's Rock, which is an 80s and retro music festival. So I get to work with a lot of 80s artists. So that's my connection with the 80s and ting. Dave, you say that speech like you've been forced to make it on multiple occasions in your life. The case for the defence stands. We're very glad and lucky to have him. Our next guest is a singer who scored a number three hit in 1986 with My Favourite Waste of Time, which is how we're dearly hoping uh, that all of our viewers refer to this quiz throughout <laughs> lockdown. It is Owen Paul. Hello, Owen. Hi there. Good day to all. Any fond uh, 80s memories you wish to share, Owen, before we kick off? Any topics you'd like to see come up? Uh, well, you mean the actual quiz being an 80s one? In the actual 80s themed In quiz. In the actual 80s themed quiz. Make it easy, that's all I think. Make it easy. It's very hard to say, to be honest. Um, I've had a glance over the questions and some of them have flummoxed me. My third and final guest, it is, uh, it is singer, songwriter, actress, uh, author and very much bona fide 80s contestant, Toya Wilcox. Hello, Toya. How are you? I'm good, thank you, Ivor. Lovely. Um, I'm also very well. Um, now, what are we looking at right behind you? What power play is that, that gold disc that we are all enjoying? This was my first gold disc. It was for Anthem, which went on to become Platinum. So I, I in lockdown, wasn't able to get to where all my awards are stored. And last week, knowing I was going to do this, I snuck to London, my first time out in about three months, and I got one of my gold discs because I thought I'm going to need it because it, it kind of gives me authority. The greatest show of commitment I think anyone has shown to this pub quiz in the last three months, and that includes me, the host, and all of the producers, editors working on it. She's done a <laughs> Dominic Cummings, and she has taken an unnecessary journey to pick up a bit of psychological bling. Um, thank you very much, Sue. It's greatly appreciated. Shame you couldn't get the platinum, but I well, guess that's saving that okay. for your quiz. I've, Ivor, I could instead have put my mastermind winner's trophy there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that could have gone there. Or my uh, plates of Ready Steady Cook, which I won four times. I mean, um, but I think the gold disc looks better. I regret playing Dave Benson Phillips as the villain of the piece early doors. <laughs> Clearly, Paula <laughs> Wilcox is the person to beat today with her absolutely disgusting boast-a-thon from gold discs to ready, steady, cook plates. Uh, Owen, this is your last chance to produce anything from uh, the room in which you're quizzing to psych out your fellow contestants. The killer it's pen. A, it's a, what kind of pen is it? It's a killer pen with all the answers in it. Well, that's very exciting news, Owen, and uh, we're now seconds away from seeing whether that's true. Um, <laughs> will it also write down the answers as we go? Because I'm going to insist that you all do have stationary equipment. Absolutely. I will, provide, I, I will provide the evidence. That's very good of you. Yes, we, we, we like to go on just uh, sort of bonhomie and goodwill, um, but we will occasionally ask you to lift up a sheet of paper to uh, the camera uh, just to check in. So let's keep that handwriting big and clear. There's Toya's paper. Cool. It's just prop after prop with Wilcox cool. and David <laughs> and Phillips and Owen Magic Pen. 
Oh. So guys, even though the theme of the quiz is specific to the 80s, the structure of the quiz is as it ever was, i.e. we're starting with general knowledge. No skin off anyone's nose. General, brackets, 80s knowledge. And our first question in that is about banking. In the 1980s, which bank released a series of money boxes in the shape of pigs that are now highly collectible items? No doubt Wilcox has got a couple knocking about. Oh. This is not from the music round, but it is a music themed question. Question two. In May of which year, brackets in the 80s, was Temptation by Heaven 17 at number three, Fascination by the Human League at number two, and True by Spandau Ballet at, deservedly, number one in the UK top 40. Dave, are you remembering those songs fondly? Yeah. But not time specifically, would you say? Well, actually, no. I was just about to write the answer, and, you, and just hearing your voice just put me off. Question three, yes. and astonishingly, we're going back to banking already. Whoa. Uh, and the question is, what banknote ceased to be legal tender in 1988. Woof. I'm actually quite excited by the thought of this ever having been a note. What fun. I tell you, all three of us had so many of them, we had to carry a rucksack. Billions of them. Billions of them. <laughs> Absolute billions. Yeah, speak for yourself, madam. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Dave has got uh, a couple of pig-shaped money boxes from a uh, non-specific bank, um, but uh, but he doesn't have a rucksack full of bills. <laughs> Won't say which. Um, question four. Yes. And I've just realised that there's a slight, there's a little twist with question three based on potentially one of the contestants, which we'll go through at the end, but. Uh, I hope it doesn't put any cats amongst pigeons thus far. Question four, back to music. It's a very simple banking music, banking music lineup we've got here. The first commercial CD players were introduced by which companies in 1984? So we're looking for two words here. And of course, there'll be a merciful half point for each. It's a good question, but you've just alienated half your audience if they're under 56. <laughs> that was the entire point of this whole quiz, Toya. Come on. <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, alienating some people, but it is sending some viewers into a spasm of nostalgia or simpler Ooh. and, dare I say it, better times. Question five. Which weatherman infamously reassured BBC viewers that a hurricane wouldn't happen in 1987? At last, an easy one. Yeah. You you should have been <laughs> grabbing your pens as soon as I said which weatherman. <laughs> I, remember the day, I, rem I remember the day so well. I was uh, working for the National Theatre in the West End in a play called Three Men on a Horse. I hope I just yeah. hadn't answered one of your questions there. And I'd had dinner in a Japanese restaurant and drunk a bottle of sake. And I can remember lying on the street wondering why the dustbins were flying. What a phenomenally vivid memory. <laughs> Wilcox in central the, London the, on the, the lash. The storm! The storm was so severe. I mean, everything was in the air. Everything. So here are your answers to round one, general knowledge. In the 1980s, which bank released a series of money boxes in the shape of pigs that are now highly collectible items? Owen, what did you put? I wrote Barclays first, then thought, hang on a second, you said pigs, so it was pink. Then I went NatWest. You are absolutely correct that it was Nat West. Is that what Phew. you put, Toya? No, I put Lloyd's, crossed it out, and then put TSB. Oh, no. I'm afraid Nat West wasn't even in your thought process at any point during that. What about you, Dave? No, I put Nat West, and then put in brackets National Westminster. You'll get you. That, <laughs> that's a man reaching out in the hope of a bonus point, which he's just not going to get. But it keeps you level with Paul after one question, and Toya is behind. Question two, and Toya, I'll fire this one at you. Um, in what year were Temptation, Fascination, and True the UK top three? I've put 1983 with 1984 flashing in my head, but I'll go with 1983. Keep 1984 flashing in your head. Keep 1983 on the page, because it's right. Yeah! 
You've scored a point. Oh, you've scored a point. Dave has not scored a point. What did you put, Dave? I was a year out, 1984. It was a real, yeah, it was a, yeah. So that's all right. What about the banknote that ceased to be legal tender in 1988, Dave? I was, I put down a pound note. You're absolutely right to put down a pound note. Toy, did you put down a pound note? I certainly did. And yeah. Owen, uh, I'm right in thinking that you can still get pound notes in Scotland. <laughs> yes, my mother's got all of mine. <laughs> the uh, two companies bringing in the no. CD player. What did you put for it, Owen? I think I got it in the end. Fingers yeah, crossed. Please. Fingers crossed. I wrote Phillips first until I realised you, until you said both, and then I thought, well, it's Phillips Sony. Bang. Oh. Will he ever slow down? We may have to confiscate his pen. Told Toya. you. Told you. I put Sony and Toshiba. Dave. I put Sony Hitachi. So he too will take home just half a point. Okay. And it's point. looking like five from five for Owen Paul because surely it's... he knows the 1987 weatherman. It's got to be Michael Fish. Michael yeah. Fish. Michael Fish. Michael Dave Fish. Yeah, Michael baby. Fish. Sarky Swilling Toya Wilcox, Michael Fish. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and so uh, that gives us final scores for that round of, I believe, five for Owen. And then we've got three and a half. Three and a half. Well, there we go. Dave, three and a oh, half. Three. three and a half, sir. Three and a half. It's good to be Owen Paul. <laughs> round two is the before they were famous round. You'll have done these in a million pub quizzes over the years. We're looking at pictures of famous faces when they were younger and less famous. And uh, again, these particular famous faces would, uh, while still bitingly relevant today, have hit a real peak back in the dearly beloved 1980s. Okay. Here is your first. Who is this? Easy peasy. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No different sounds coming out of the Wilcox and Benson Phillips corners. <coughs> but the magic pen's still active. The magic. I'm sick of this magic pen, actually. <laughs> Question two. Oh, dear. That's... I would say it's it's certainly not the easiest of the five, but it's a it's. It's going to be a lovely bit of fun when the answer comes through. I'd say it's a, it's, it's a man whose work is very evocative of a specific time, place, mood. Who is this? Do you have any idea who no. it is? Yes, I do. Oh, right. So it's fallen perfectly. She's got me flummoxed. I'm looking at her and I don't know. Well, oh. Dave, all I can offer you is the chance to be flummoxed by someone else. Who did this person grow up to be? Oh, oh! Oh, oh. I, oh. I like I, this round. I'm not <laughs> sure about this round. I, wow, she looks, she looks way, before, way before the 80s. Way, way, way. I mean, yes, it does have a slightly bit more in feel that, Dave. And, and is that to imply maybe that she sort of quite Caref old-fashioned. Careful, careful. <laughs> yeah, careful, come Ew. on. Sorry. Come on. <laughs> Famous in the 80s for some reason. Okay. For some reason, I'd say almost the biggest reason, and that's the end of question four, because we're just getting closer and closer <laughs> to it. Question five, okay. who is this person? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm almost dreading telling you that it's the end of the round. Oh, right. I want this round to end. Okay. Right, let's do the answers. Yeah, go on. Number then. one. Toya. Madonna! Gee! It Madonna. It's Madonna for Owen Paul. And is it Madonna for Dave Benson Phillips? It is. Yes. Dave, who did you think this person, this not very childish child, grew up to be number two? Well, I wasn't sure at first, and I thought to myself, I'm just going to put it out there. I've probably got it wrong. It's Billy Ocean. That's what I thought. It's not Billy Ocean. I can tell you, it's Mr. T. Oh, <laughs> no! 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 That's why we all logged into this video conference today, wasn't it? No. To look at a younger picture of Mr. T. Absolutely. Amazing. Wow. I, had Mike I, had, I had Mike Tyson for that. 
Wow. It's the first wrong answer for Owen Paul. Mes he, still oh, has T he still missed a T. No, I'm afraid as much no. as I poured your speed oh. of mind, oh. you cannot have anyone else with a surname beginning T. Okay, thank you. Thank um, you, sir. Uh, I, had, uh, I had Otis Redding. Listen, that's it's, not even beginning with T, Toya. Or, or the, it's I not don't even know the 80s. Even me. And it's not the 80s, Toya. Come on. It's not the 80s. Owen, let's have a little more gentleness from you at the top Sorry. of the class. <laughs> Owen, shut up. <laughs> all right, love. All, all right, darling. Question three. Dave, did you get it on the second viewing? Not at all. Do you know what? Drew a complete blank, so I haven't got I'm it. Sorry to hear that. Got... Toya's about to tell me who it is. Well, I put down first Julia Roberts. And then, brackets, Carly Simon. No, I don't like that, I'm afraid. You've written down two answers. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> well, could, could you right. choose the one that's right? <laughs> hey! I, good, good right kind of quiz player. Um, Owen, yes. let's, first hear, let's first hear who Owen put. Owen, who did you put? Am I allowed to do the same as Toya and tell you two? Yeah, well, you're allowed to do the same, and then we'll let Dave adjudicate how to score this game, but I'd like to hear who you did first. Say what?! <laughs> Yes, Dave, you're a child. Dave, I'm, just trying to, I'm trying to bring you into it, Dave. Okay, I did you first. You sound I'm on the peripherals. <laughs> I did first Julia Roberts. Yeah. Yes. And secondly, Jodie Foster. Right. I'm sticking with Julia Roberts. Well, well obviously you're going to stick with it now that you've found out that Owen went as well. Um, Dave, they've both put Julia Roberts as one of their two nominated answers, and that is the correct answer. Whoa. Did they get half each? No, 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 I, sh I should get one. And me, I, I want one. Well, I should get not one. Don't be rude, no, Ivo, no, because this is, Ivo, this is, your, this is your quiz, and you kind of laid it down with me about the fact that you're the quiz master. So oh. I'm surprised that you oh. didn't say to these two, is this your final answer? Do you know what I mean? No, Rocky no, mistake, mate. So it's up to don't you. Don't gunge me, Dave. Don't gunge me. Don't set I, me up. Um, don't set me up. <laughs> I wasn't uh, trying to set you up. It was a slightly ham-fisted attempt to share the responsibility, but you're right. This one's on me. And I'm going to say that I should have pushed them for a final answer, but to be fair, Toy was then going for Julia Roberts. It was the one they Do both you know put what? first. Just, 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 yeah. Well, this it's is a that point each. Yeah, so both give them a point. point. Give them a point. If there's a single question thank, thank later on less. where you put down more than one answer, then, then I like won't be afraid with the backing of Benson Phillips oh. to lay down the law. There may yep. be points of deductions. Okay, oh. heard and understood. Thank oh, you, Owen. Now you right. to alienate me from my other quiz, my other quiz players. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it, listen, by the end of round two, it's yep. customary for the quiz master and all contestants to be thoroughly alienated from one another, and I'm really excelling myself today. What <laughs> a time. It's going, Go it's going real well. It is. Just Julia Roberts. Roberts. That's Let's a look good at a picture spot. of a young Margaret Thatcher. Here okay. she is. Margaret Oh, good Margaret grief. Margaret Thatcher. Now that when you say it, of course. And finally, question five. Dave, what did you put for this person? Uh, I put Freddie Mercury, but I'm not sure. You are right to have put really? Freddie Mercury. I'm so okay. pleased you've got a point on the board. I'm less surprised, to be honest, that Owen and Toya have got a point on the board. They've had a great time this round, and you've helped them. <laughs> so, <laughs> at the end of round two, where there might be a, a slightly widening gap between the players, Toya, did you get four? I got four, yes. Owen, did you get four? And Dave, did you get two? I did get two, sir. Beautiful. There they are. Beautiful. Wizardry behind the scenes there. Okay. The hard points. Uh, don't make for pretty reading. Hopefully, they'll get cancelled out later on. Dave? Yep. You are a well renowned man of fitness. How would you feel about trying to claw things back with a lovely sports round? Uh... You couldn't have picked a worse subject for me to do. I mean, oh. I love doing sports. I don't like, I'm not a great watcher of sports. He's a doer, not a watcher. Well, well Dave, this is going <laughs> to. <laughs> another unhappy hunting ground then because the next five are all about sports that you okay. are expected to have watched at some point in the 80s. Uh. Now, Toy's not happy about it either. Owen? Yeah, so, so. I mean, he's, he's so, so, which by comparison to the other two is practically ecstasy. <laughs> Question one in the sports round. 
Which famous sporting event, first held in 1981 in the UK capital, was won by Joyce Smith and Dick Beardsley? I know that one. I think this is the sort of one where you don't actually have to remember it. You don't have to know who Joyce Smith and Dick Beardsley are, no disrespect to them. You're just having to think of something that happens in the UK capital. Question two, if I may. Yeah. Which two countries won the Football World Cup in the 1980s? Half a point for each. Which two countries won the Football World Cup in the 80s? Question three. In 1988, who became the first competitor since 1928 to represent Great Britain in Olympic ski jumping? This, I think, is... You know, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a happy memory. It's a British icon. The question four. Which Javelin gold medalist was named BBC Sports Personality of the Year in 1987? Not a lot of javelinist spotty winners, so it's another little slice of history. I think if there is a site from today's quiz that will haunt my dreams, it is the double fist pump of Toya Wilcox. <laughs> I've got to admit, I'm quite liking that. <laughs> You'll get well, It's the sort of thing that you would have built a whole workout out of. Uh, but a quiz master and just a man trying to focus on his script. It is, it is distracting stuff. But listen, it's lovely to see people celebrating. It denotes enjoyment and gettability. But is she going to know this one? Our final sports question, number five. By what name was Shirley Crabtree better known? Ugh. And when she's no, not pumping her fists, she's clutching her biceps. Got it. Doesn't know. Oh. Doesn't know. I've got two names. For, I've, I've got the same name for two questions. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I'm quite intrigued to learn which of those two questions it would be. And I suppose we now will. Let's have our sports answers. Dave, which famous sporting event was first held in 1981 in the UK capital? Won by Joyce Smith and Dick Beardsley. <laughs> for some reason, I put Wimbledon doubles tennis. And I don't know no. why I did that. Dave, I'm afraid you've got that bang wrong. That was the one we wanted you to get. Uh, which two countries won the Football World Cup in the 1980s? I really should get this. Is that I'm a football guy, but there are guesses, but I think I've got the second one. But I'm going to go Germany and Argentina. You've got half a point. Toya, what did you put? I, I put UK and Argentina. UK? What? I'm afraid you... The UK were last winning the World Cup back in the heyday of Otis Redding, Toya. Stop bringing <laughs> all the to an 80s quiz. Um, UK! Was, I just was, remember David Beckham being phenomenal at Wembley, and I just assumed we won, so... Yes, I've just realised the UK thing as well, and sorry not to have picked her up on that. Yes. Um, I think oh, you're... Oh, sorry. You're yeah. 20 years late with England winning the World Cup. You're 20 years early with David Beckham. Uh, and you've had a, let's be honest, complete shocker. Apart from saying Argentina, which has got you half a point. So there we go. Would this be an appropriate time, Toya, to say that um, uh, I've, I've got a message for you from my father? Oh, cool. um, he, he, he took a female friend uh, to see you at the Hammersmith Odeon in July 1982. And he also very much enjoyed you in Quadrophenia. Aww. I thought I'd keep it up my sleeve. That's really I lovely. Mean, he's just sent me another text saying... Uh, the UK is four separate nations and they all play football individually. <laughs> so mixed emotions. Dave, uh, did you put uh, Italy and or Argentina? I put Argentina. So just like Owen, I put Argentina and Germany. So uh, We're getting closer, but you've all got half a point for that. No yeah. one got Italy. Um, the Olympic ski jumper um, was, of course, Eddie the Eagle. Yeah! Yeah. Got that. Got that. Got it, baby. Which, which Javelin gold medalist was BBC Sports Personality of the Year 1987? 
Anyone? I, yeah, Fatima Whitbread. It is Fatima Whitbread. Dave's got Fatima Whitbread. Owen has. I had two. No, no points. Don't even want to hear what they were. I made I, myself very clear I, in the last round. I, I just wanted to confess the truth. I had two. Yes, but anyway, well, I, I had Fatima and Tess of Sanderson. By what name was Shirley Crabtree better known? The answer was Big Daddy. Oh, um, yeah. 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 Wrestler. Good wow. news for David. Good news for Owen Paul. Yep. Dave, how many did you get in that round, please? I got in that one three and a half. Um, it's a lovely score. And Toy, what did you get in that round? Um, I believe I got three and a half. Uh, many congratulations to you. And our current leader, Owen Paul, who actually had trials, I believe, at Celtic, but never, got, no. to achieve, <laughs> never got to achieve his dream of playing football for the UK. Very no, sad. I, I played for my country at schoolboy level, though. What did you get in that round, Owen? Three and, a, three and a half points. Three and a half for everybody. May as well have not done it. Where does that leave us overall? That puts Owen on 12.5. It puts Toy on 11. It puts Dave on nine. There's still plenty left in it after three rounds. Our next round, yep. and this is a lot of fun. We're going to watch a movie montage. Oh. And the movie montage is going to include 15 films. Oh, Ooh. man. Released in the 1980s, of course. Um, and all you've got to do is name as many of them as you can. Write them down as you go. Oh, dear. So this oh, round is worth a, a gut-busting 15 points. Oh. Um, so without any further ado, bring on the montage. Well, the good news, even if you haven't got 15 films written down in front of you, is that we are going to take a break now. So for our three contestants and anyone playing along at home, uh, let's see if you can remember what you've seen. Or if you just want to take a wild swing, just name some films from the 80s and hope. See you very shortly.
And we're back with the second half of episode 10 of the Lockin' Pub Quiz. And if you needed any more drama, uh, Dave Benson Phillips has switched rooms. <laughs> so we will see if that's uh, carried any favor with the movie quiz gods as we look at the answers to round four. We watched a super fast cut of 15 films from the 80s. You were all uh, both at home and on the quiz encouraged to write down as many of them as you could. Here they are. In any particular order, Tron, yeah. Beverly Hills Cop, Dirty Dancing, yeah. Labyrinth, yeah. Three Amigos, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no, goodness me, Terminator, yeah. <laughs> the Goonies. Uh, yes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Difficult to see if they're celebrating and put the Goonies or just toy not having put it. On we crack. Purple Rain. Yeah! Come Ooh. on. We saw Prince Lowe's in that video. A View to a Kill. My favourite oh. James Bond. Yes! No, not well reviewed. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah. Top Gun? Withnail and I. Yeah! Scarface. Oh yeah. my. No. Two to go. Die Hard and Ghostbusters. Oh, hang on. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Just finding them all. Sorry, Toya. <laughs> and it's very like Toya's got herself about 13 points there. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Be quicker to count the ones you didn't get. 12 points for Toya Wilcox. I don't, I don't think like that either. I don't think like that. Dave, with nothing but professional and personal respect, how did you do on that round? 13. Why? What? <laughs> it's the <laughs> of the century. He Stop didn't it. enjoy it. No, He'd, well. But you didn't. You said you didn't enjoy it, Dave. Well, the whole thing was just really awful because I missed out on Scarface. I just literally forgot to write. I mean, I looked and I saw it, and it's that whole it's thing is the quick fire. I was never good on quick fire, ever. But you so, are good on quick fire. You've got thirteen out of fifteen, and you've left Toya Wilcox with egg on her face. Oh, what's your name? No. Where you, where, 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 what's your part in this narrative? Well, I found it very difficult. It was going so fast. I didn't like the audio playing at the same time. That put me right off. Because I was trying to it remember was that. I was trying. Yeah, but I was trying to remember the Duran Duran song from the film so I could get the James Bond one. So, but and then I didn't get it. So, I got thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> it's another. I didn't enjoy the round, but I actually did really well at its story. Yeah. I, I'd be, I'm sick of having that rug pulled from under my feet. The toy was the one we heard celebrating all the way through, but actually. She's the one who wishes this round hadn't happened. Okay. So what's that done to the score? 13 for Dave, 13 for Owen, and 11 for Toya. It means that it's still Owen in the lead, but Dave has inched just behind Toya. Round five, and I promised you a music round, and here it is. Oh. As we have enjoyed many times over the course of lockdown, the magic hands of friend of the show, Michael, will be working their magic, no. repetition of magic, no shame. He's playing the stylophone. He's playing the stylophone and he's playing five well-known songs from the 80s. Wow. And please would you write down the artist oh. and the song for each. Artist and the song. Here is the first song. Take it away, Michael. Beautifully played. Oh, it is. It's oh. got a certain charm to it. The stylophone. Oh. It's emotional. You, you wouldn't emotional. want to go to an entire concert of it, but uh, you'd listen to five short snippets of it in a quiz. Um, question two: Who's this? <laughs> Michael's commitment to the sort of 
single note of dread before launching into the main <laughs> riff is one of my favourite recurring. Honestly, I thought the computers had just stopped. Are there going to be any more uh, sort of bowel shudderers in this third one? Who and what is this? And this is the round where it feels a bit cruel to move things along too quickly because you just want to sit with it in your head. No, you don't. A few seconds. <laughs> no, you don't, says Owen. On we go. Here is number four, one of my favourite songs of the 80s, if you would, Michael. Here is uh, our fifth and final stylophone rendition. How did you fare with that final one, Toya? I was absolutely hopeless in that round. I, I've got, I know I had three song titles and one artist. That's it. That's well, it. It's, uh, it's a 10 point round, which has caused consternation for previous contestants because it's a point for artists and it's a point for song. Um, so let's see how we all did. The first song was Centerfold by the Jay Giles Band. Hands up if you got that. I got the song. Not bad. Not bad at all. Dave, did you get both? Indeed, sir. Yes. yes. Um, and, yeah. Owen, and, and Owen got both. Lovely stuff. Uh, I hope you all put Gary Newman and Carl yeah. for number two. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Um, did any of you put uh, the artist Black or the song title Wonderful Life for number three? Yes. I got Wonderful <sighs> Life, but not Boy. the artist. Oh, he's got something there. Yeah, Dave. didn't get nothing. black. Got wonderful life. Oh, lovely. He's not got nothing. He's got wonderful life. Question four. Yeah. Road to Nowhere by Talking Heads. No. Yes. No, I'm sorry <laughs> about that, Toya. Um, and finally, Another Day in Paradise by Phil Collins. So you could have got ten on that round. A meaty ten. But how many did you actually get, Toya? Four. Four. Dave? Nine. Nine. And Owen. I got I got ten. Oh holy yeah. Christmas. C can I also say something? You can, I, I think, actually. I think Toya I think Toya's husband's on the talking head song. He, he might Fripp be. is on Road to Nowhere. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I, really? I have to ask him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> not, I, <laughs> Let me get but, a word in edgeways. I'm married to him. Um, he, he's never talked about having played on Talking Heads, but he talks about Blondie, Peter Gabriel. So I'm not sure. Um, I think but, so. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to. I'll check that with him. Excellent. Come on, Bob. <laughs> Hello, Robert. Yes. Did you play on Talking Heads, Road to Nowhere? Uh, no, I played on the Fear of Music album a piece called E Zimbra. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> oh my goodness! I, See, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. 
my favourite, uh, genuinely my favourite moment of every episode we've done of the Login Pub <laughs> Quiz. And in some ways, <laughs> Owen, you provided us with false information. Yes, I did. You, you teed up that phone call. I didn't know any of that. She's had a wonderful phone chat to her husband. Um, it's still been quite a bad music round for Toy Wilcox. Um, yeah. <laughs> so at the end of the penultimate round, it is Owen on 35 and a half for the man to beat. Toya on 27, the person with the most catching up to do, and Dave Benson Phillips stuck in the middle with you on 31. We finish with a round that is for 10 points. So a full swing is possible if unlikely. And this round is about 80s TV. This first question, to be fair, is more about 80s music slash current <laughs> TV. Because oh, the question no. is, which 1980s pop band appeared in a recent documentary called After the Screaming Stops? Brilliant documentary. Really <laughs> great fun. Hilarious. Haven't seen Very. it. Mrs. Phillips told me about it. Ah, <laughs> oh, <lovely. no. laughs> we, can't, we can't call her as well, Dave. We, only one phone call for quiz. Well, if you wanted to give the answer, it's not a problem. She's just next door. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to rule that out and move on to question two, which is about the sitcom Blackadder. And oh. in the sitcom Blackadder, what is the lead character's first name? Question three. Who sang the Only Fools and Horses theme song? Oh, Oh. Question four, and it's multiple choice. Ooh. A rare concession to the world of multiple choice. Which of the following was Roland Rat's sidekick? Was it A, Cuddles the Monkey, B, Gordon the Gopher, or C, Kevin the Gerbil? Mm-hmm. Question five. The cast of Grange Hill reached number five in the charts in 1985 with which song? Warning about the dangers of drugs. Lovely song, very successful, of course. No drugs were taken anywhere <laughs> after the release. <laughs> Signal day, a, 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 an end in, what? in its entirety to drug use in the 1980s. Question six. What was the first program that appeared on Channel 4 in 1982 and is still going to this day? Real staple. Agony for Dave. Agony. Clapping, shaking his head, screwing up his eyes. Going to the TV times in his mind's palace. Trying to. Well, listen, let's uh, skip that ordeal and go to the last question, which is a four pointer. What were the names of all four of the young ones? Is that the actors or the characters? It's the characters, please, and just their first names, obviously. I could tell you the actors. I know that is painful, actually, if you know the actors. tempted to say that would be fine too, but no, I think we're going to stick with character names. One of them's the same, of course. I never watched it. Hey. I never saw the young ones. I'm very sorry to hear that, Dave. It's a... Uh, so am it's I. A wonder, it's a wonder... Well, yes, obviously, that n- never more in your life have you regretted that more than now, I'm sure. Were you not intrigued, uh, Dave, by its, by its sort of anarchic knockabout reputation? Tell a lie, I did see one episode. Good. I, I saw like... the one, but that was about it. And a character springs out to mind, but I'm sure it's not right. I feel like this is Frost Nixon, and I've managed to wheedle the confession. <laughs> <laughs> but he's watched one episode of The Young Ones. No, or, I didn't get to watch a lot of TV during the 80s. Well, certainly not a lot of sitcoms. I just... Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Dave. So the words 80s TV round must really obstruct fear into your heart. 
Well, listen, we've got to oh, wrap yeah. up this quiz. I think Owen's won it. And the real question is, can Toya re-overtake Dave and get into second? I think she can. I think she can. Um, but if she can't, it isn't an emergency. Although if it was an emergency, we'd be calling Robert Fripp. Let's have yes. the answers. Question one. The 1980s pop band who appeared recently in After the Screaming Stops was Toya? Bross. Bross. Um, thumbs up from Dave. In the sitcom Blackadder, what is the lead character's first name? Owen. Edmund. It is Edmund Blackadder. Question three. Who sang the Only Fools and Horses theme song? Dave? I always thought it was Nicholas Lindhurst. But it's not. It's the person who wrote the script, wasn't it? It's the creator of the show, John Sullivan. I couldn't remember his name. I couldn't remember. No, that's gone. I literally wrote the writer. (laughs) I put Chaz and Dave. Yes. It's a bit of fun, actually. It's more fun than just writing the writer. Sounds like that. I'm afraid all those answers look the same at the bank. Not pounds. Question four. Who was Ronan Rat's sidekick? It was option C. Kevin Good. the gerbil. Yeah. yeah. One. Yeah. Question five. Dave, what was the name of the song by Grange Hill warning about the dangers of drugs? I believe it was Just Say No. <laughs> Absolutely. A policy you might all take in future with regards to accepting invitations to online quizzes. Indeed. But, uh, <laughs> we're very grateful to have had you here for this one. Um, and... Penultimately, Dave, you struggled with this. What was the first ever program on Channel 4? Still going to this day? I think... I think it's Countdown. It I've is Countdown. Count- is it? Were you miming a clock there, Owen? Just trying to help Dave along however you could. And finally... Oh, I was so busy racking my brains. Thank you for that. Oh, that's lovely. People are still... Oh, good grief. Countdown. Still camaraderie at this late stage. But it's a bit harder to mime the names of all four Young Ones characters, who are, of course, and Dave, you'll remember this from the one episode you watched once, Mike, Rick, Vivian, and Neil. Oh. Okay. I've got Rick, Vivian, Neil, Chris, for some reason, and and I've written Mr. Bolofsky, and I don't know why I wrote Mr. Bolofsky. Yeah. Because that's Alexi Sales' character. What? <sighs> Dave. I thought, Dave, sorry, if, if I, am I losing my mind? Dave looked like a man who had got naught there. And then he's got three and a sort of bit of bonus information. It's the ult- it's the re- a real hustle, Dave. No, no hustle at all. I really didn't. I, I spent a lot of my time during the 80s working on holiday camps. So I was working for Pontins and stuff. So watching television was not easy. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Um, Here's three of the main characters. And then um, here's an extra character just for good measure. But I've never seen it. I was at Pontins. I was at Pontins. Right. Well, uh, maybe it is going to stay Owen Dave Toyer. Owen, what did you get in that round out of ten? Nine. Nine. Dave, what did you get in that round out of ten? Just counting. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Eight. I've got eight. Is that, are we counting one point each for the, the young ones? One point each for the names? It's one or? point each for the young ones, yes. Okay. In that oh, yeah? case, it, I got three. 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 Well, listen. I was too busy to watch telly in the 80s. I know. And when you say it, Toya, you actually mean it. You're not just <laughs> trying to pull oh, all over Oh, stop that. Stop, stop that. <laughs> Toya, I'm afraid to say that after your blistering early start, including some magnificent work on the famous faces when they were younger, you have come last. But, as I believe they always say, if you can remember the 80s, you weren't really there. So your slightly subpar performance is only a testament to what a life you were living during that decade, unlike Dave Benson Phillips and Owen Paul, who are frankly a couple of anoraks who have disgraced themselves. <laughs> that being said, Owen, congratulations to you for winning the quiz. Hard fought. Thank you. Thank you. The thank pen you, thank you. never fails. And Dave, it's been emotional. Unlike Toya, it's the first award I've ever had. Oh, uh, well, I hope to see it 
I'd like to thank my family and friends and all who have supported me in this whole journey. And I'm so proud to, to, at this very moment to share it with you all. Thank you very much for that very moving tribute. And I hope to see your Lock in Pub Quiz Award sat behind you on your next bit of lockdown media work. We will never forget the moment where we learnt that Robert Fripp did not play on Road to Nowhere, but he did play on Ezimbra. <laughs> Thank you very much to Toy Wilcox, Owen Paul, Dave Benson Phillips, and Robert <laughs> Fripp. Thank you to our producers. Thank you for watching. Please donate to the Save Our Venues. Trust if you've enjoyed this. The link is below. And please watch future and past episodes of the Lock-In Pub Quiz. I've been Ivo Graham. Goodbye. <laughs>